Um, I just want to say first off that I'm really happy to be here for the second year running. Um, this time last year I did a session based loosely on, on Arsenal. Um, I, albeit I'm a Tottenham fan, I am very overly obsessed with Arsenal and their style of play. And within two months of the session last year, I was offered a job to go back home and work for, for the ladies team and to head up their, their academy program, which is a, a residential program for 16 to 19 year olds. Um, and I can honestly say I've, I'm working in a place that is the most progressive environment I've ever been been in, in terms of the type of football they develop, uh, both on the men's side and the women's side. And fortunately for me, um, our, our program is very integrated into the men's setup. So we're based out of the training ground, um, so I get the opportunity to watch training sessions and be around coaches and players. So today I'm going to be working on developing a set of ideas um, based around that style of play. Um, and uh, the session is called Breaking Lines, the Mannequin Method. Okay, I'm going to focus this part of the session on uh, this group here, and I'm going to work with this group. Um, we're going to have four players to begin with that start just outside of a box that I've set up. Okay, and they're going to be working outside of the mannequins. You can equally see there are blue cones situated just a few yards from the mannequin. And these lines, um, sorry, these, this area here is what we consider a line, um, or an imaginary line, but we're going to encourage players at, on different occasions to break that line, um, both with their touch and with their movement, okay? All we're going to do to begin with is the ball start over there, and it's just going to travel along to this player here, and your first touch has to break that line in between the mannequin and the blue cone and then you're going to play it to me off we go just pass it to her take a touch to break the line play it to me okay my first touch has to break this line now if it doesn't okay we just continue and it's as simple as that to begin with okay off we go break the line with the touch Okay, so we're just going to develop a little bit with their movement in this as well. Um, and all we're going to do is, is ask players to start deep on the blue cone. Opening their hips in the direction they want to play. But before that, really getting the player to focus. To Imagine they're going to go in that direction. When in fact, they're going to let it roll across and go out the other way. So again, as it comes, fake across, break the line, take a touch, good. So now we're getting them to really open their hips up and work at a little bit of upper body deception. Ready? Play. Keep the speed of play going. Good. A little bit harder. Good. That's a great feint. This time, as you make your pass, I want you to sprint towards the opposite cone and get back before the ball comes round again. All right? Continue as, as we were, developing that movement, starting deep, dropping in front opening our hips up and going out in another direction. Ready? Play. Players are often receiving the ball when they're slightly on the move and possibly when they're readjusting their bodies. Okay. All I'm looking to do this time is to come diagonally across the mannequin, all right, and create a little bit of distance for myself. As the ball's played in, I'm left-footed, so excuse me, I'll take a touch with the outside of my foot, okay? And then, I'll play, and then I'll spin out the other side, all right? So as soon as I get here, come in front of the mannequin again, take a touch with the outside and spin round. Good. Play it in again and stop there. <clears throat> as they're doing it, again, really want them to come across. And rather than just stand there and face up, really get sideways on and create a bit of distance between yourself and the mannequin to begin with. All right, but this time off of the touch once, it's played to the right and they've spun to the left. I want you to come and pressure me hard and fast. That's it. There we go. Good. Roll it. Pressure her. Good. Back off. Pressure her. Back off. All right, so we're going to work a little bit on how to develop some blindside movement. All right. As the ball is in transition again, hold it a sec. I want 
player to start slightly in front of the mannequin so that this mannequin can see both the ball and me. All right. As the ball is in transition, play the ball in, I want to peel slightly out wide, stop there, and out of the mannequin's eye line. So I'm making it very difficult at this point for this player to see both the ball and me. Now off of her first touch, I'm going to go blindside to receive here, knock it back one touch, come round again, take my touch to break the line. Ready? And play. Get it back. And again, depending on the skill level of the group, you know, we can have this going two touch, we could have it going one touch. In this situation, I'm going to work a little bit on the disguise. All right, so as the ball is transitioning towards this player here, just play, play the ball in there to begin with, so we can just, just hold it a second. We're going to come short to receive a ball, all right? I'm going to receive a ball here, play the ball in. I'm going to use that blue line, that blue cone, as an end line for me, all right? So almost if I'm attacking down the right-hand side, the goal is situated over there. So I'm going to have players now attacking end line as they get beyond the mannequin, working at looking across as if to serve a ball, all right? And then changing their mind, fainting with an arm, cutting back, and then knocking the ball. Now I want you to get your left arm up. So we really wind the left arm up all right, as if we're about to cross the ball. So it goes down, left arm up, cut, pass the ball in there. All right, Come here, make a pass towards her. And as you do that, I want you to go and defend inside the cones, all right, all the way to the end line, as if you're about to prevent the cross. So as soon as you make the pass in there, we're going to defend inside and you're looking, sorry, to block here. All right, as if they're about to serve. All right, good. Get in line, get in line. Block the cross. Good, and keep playing. Let's get that tempo back. And cut it. Stick your leg up. Stick your leg up as if to prevent the cross. There we go. And keep playing. Good. This time he's going to run at pace towards the mannequin. As he gets there, he's going to chop it with the outside of his foot pass the ball to me here. Now, off of my touch, once I receive it here, you then start to peel into the middle. Okay, so peel into the middle, off my run, hold it there. As I'm running towards the cone, as I chop it, you drop a little bit deeper. All right, so I chop it, pass it, run towards that cone, stop there, again, centralize, run towards the cone, chop it with the outside of your foot, good. Stop there, off of her chop, you drop a little bit deeper. So it's just little th chops with the same foot. Nice, cut it, really chop it. Go this way, chop inside, chop it, pass it, loop around behind her. That's it, get your arms on her if you can. Chop it, go and pressure the ball, pressure the ball. Good, good, make the pass, good. Go and pressure from behind, good. Pressure her from behind. Get as close to her as you can. Excellent. Keep playing and recover. And I just exposed you to five different situations that we might work at. Worked on the inside of our foot. We worked on the bird camp, how to get across and roll the ball one way, spin the other. We worked on how to peel off, get blindside for one. We worked at the disguise, being able to go end line, cut the ball back, serve in another direction. And then we worked at diagonally running at defenders and then chopping the ball and taking it in in-swinging directions. All right? For, just as a coaching development from that, I often teach the players just those simple, I just give them simple names like the Bird Camp or the Van Persie and things like that. And then we end with a final sequence where by the receiving player, has to tell the passing player what they're going to do before they get the ball gets there. There's going to be a classroom session this afternoon. I'm going to show some highlights, a number of different highlights uh, of Arsenal ladies in our European campaign. I'm going to challenge you to look um, at what the future will be for the women's game, both in the United States and beyond. Thank you.